Have you ever wondered why AFT is doing a cold form steel pool house at the Liberty Estate? Stick around and you'll find out. All right, so we're back at the Liberty Estate. I'm Jesse, Chief Explainer Officer of AFT. Now, in the last video about the pool house or the casita, we talked about a little bit the cold formed steel framing that this house is going to take shape with. Now, as you can see, we've got the whole structure taking shape. This has uh, through three bays, and actually it has four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different areas, which I think are gonna be doors and windows, uh, obviously. That is what's gonna happen. Now, with this structure, one of the recent questions that I received was, why didn't we do poured in place concrete walls? The short answer is costs. A poured in place concrete wall, like you would see in a uh, basement uh, from previous videos, um, the cost of doing a poured in place concrete is just through the roof and it's necessary for a basement. However, it is not necessary for a pool house or a casita. Now, cold form steel, not only is it recycled material in a lot of cases, eco-friendly, but it's also more affordable when it comes to getting a structure that isn't necessarily needing energy efficiency to the max, like the home. Nonetheless, we have energy efficient materials going into the pool house. However, the steel and the two by fours that are going on down below aren't energy efficient and nor are they sound um, efficient either. So the pool house itself, even though there will be insulation in the walls, it's not going to be as e energy efficient as this upstairs space. Now, let's move on to why did we use, why didn't we just go with general two by four construction when we could go with the steel construction that we're doing? And the reason why that is, is because at AFT, we always want to be pushing the envelope forward with our designs and our builds. And so when the architect designed the pool house, he called out cold form steel. And with that, the cold form steel was brought into place. Let's head downstairs to see how the house down there is taking shape. All right, so I'm on the backside, slightly the backside of the pool house. And the reason why I'm on this side is one, um, I'm trying to stay as far away from the generators as possible to keep the noise down for you guys on video. So I hope you appreciate that. Hit the like button if you like me keeping it quiet around here. The other reason why I'm on the backside is because you see all of the pool equipment over here on the opposite side. This is the back side of the property, obviously. So the wall over here of the pool house, there's no windows or anything because you don't want to see any of the pool equipment through the windows of the pool house. That right there is an awesome element that is built in to the design of this home is a lot of homes that have pools added later or you know you have a pool put in when you have your master plan home built they don't really worry about hiding the pool equipment and so in this situation that was taken into account early on and the whole design was of the pool house was to not the whole design but an, a large element was to block the pool equipment so that you don't hear it or see it it's an eyesore and an ear sore in some cases now with this construction you can see the king studs you can see the stringers and then you can see the headers in this we've got a lot of different things going on here so one they're putting in the osb right now so you can see how large this building actually is look at this i am i am not a tall person i'm 
5.9. I was at 1.510, but I'm in my 40s now, so I lose. But we've got the king studs, we've got the stringers, and actually, as I look at this, this is a little bit different because these are going all the way up and the headers above attach to the metal structure. And then the OSB that they're putting on the inside is going to create strength and stability in this. And then I imagine that we're gonna be putting in insulation here. More to come on that, stay tuned. But this gives you a good idea of what's going on in this structure. We've got the headers, we've got the up above, holding it all in place. And this really shows you kind of the, the gravity of this pool house. It's huge as far as height goes. The footprint is quite small, but the, the height of it is going to be beautiful. I'm really looking forward to how this all comes together. But stay tuned as we get closer and closer to the completion of the pool house and obviously the completion of the house entirely. If you like seeing the updates about Liberty Estate, what's happening here on a regular basis, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, keep following along. I'm gonna be back here so frequently that we're gonna have so many videos on this project, which we already do, but there's more to come. So keep following along as we discuss more about this pool house. We'll see you next time.